Hi everyone, I'm Rock from rockpotter.com and today we're going to see how to create and debug custom Python Prometheus exporter. So uh, let's jump straight to the demo. So the first step is uh, cloning GitHub repository from my GitHub. I already did that. And the next step is building Docker images specified in docker compose.yaml. It will be rather quickly because I built the images in advance. And as you can see, we are going to monitor Jenkins. The next step is uh, raising the monitoring stack of Jenkins. Uh, it will take uh, several minutes. In the meantime, we are going to go over the services in the stack. So, as we said, we are monitoring Jenkins. I selected Jenkins as a sample web application, but uh, it could be any application which exposes REST API. The next service is Jenkins Initializer. Jenkins Initializer creates sample Jenkins jobs in Jenkins. Let's see how it does it. So you can see we use Jenkins client from API for Jenkins Python package and just create sample jobs like this using Jenkins REST API. So the next step is raising Jenkins exporter. Jenkins exporter waits until Jenkins is healthy and let's go and see its code. So uh, you see, this is the big code you need to write to create Jenkins exporter using Python. As you can see, we query Jenkins REST API using API for Jenkins. We get the number of Jenkins jobs in Jenkins and set the number of Jenkins jobs as Prometheus metric. The next step is raising HTTP server, which exposes slash metrics endpoint, which will be scraped by Prometheus. So that's basically all you need to create exporter in Python. The next step is uh, raising Prometheus. Prometheus evades until Jenkins exporter is healthy, and as you can see, it's configured using configuration file. No manual configuration is needed after Jenkins, after Prometheus is up and running. What do we have in Prometheus.yaml? Sorry. So we see that we just uh, configure target as Jenkins exporter. The next step is raising Grafana, which evades until Prometheus is healthy and it is also configured using configuration file. So we configure Prometheus data source and we configure dashboards. Um, so as we can see our Prometheus stack is up and running. Let's make sure that all services are healthy. Yeah, we see that all services are up and running and healthy. This is uh, Jenkins Initializer, which is one of servers. It's created the jobs in Jenkins and exited. So let's see that our services are up and running. Yeah, we see Jenkins with the jobs we created. We see Jenkins Exporter with Jenkins job count. metric, we see Prometheus, and we see Jenkins exporter target. Let's have a look at Grafana. Yeah. So if we go to, if we log into Grafana, we see that we have 26 Jenkins jobs. This is Jenkins dashboard, configured in advance. So that's basically all I wanted to show about Jenkins Exporter. 
another interesting point which I cover in my blog post is debugging fast the exporter so let's jump to this section we see we can live reload Jenkins exporter source code inside the container without rebuilding the docker image um, so we see that I added nodemon to docker file of the exporter and we expose the code of exporter using docker volume and this is a command we use in the docker file so basically when we modify exporter code the code reaches docker con container using docker volume nodemon identifies change in this file and it reloads the exporter when the exporter is reloaded its HTTP server is reloaded and it has the updated exporter code all is done very fast without uh, rebuilding docker image of exporter so let's see that in action let's set Jenkins job count to this huge number instead of taking the number from Jenkins so we modified the code let's see the reload in action and let's follow the log and first let's see that indeed the number of Jenkins jobs was modified yes we see the exporter scraped different number actually it didn't scrape we just set it and let's see yeah Grafana got the jobs count from Prometheus which got it from the exporter let's see the reload in action while we are following the logs okay you see the reload works and number of Jenkins jobs was modified everywhere so that's, that's basically everything I wanted to show you about uh, Prometheus exporter and developing it in a Python if you know if you want to know more details please go to rockpotter.com and there are a lot of details which may be helpful. See you next time.